Uh, greetings, everyone. This is Roger Moore, and I'm your instructor for BPSOP's brand new class entitled 50 Editing Tips and Tricks That Every Photographer Should Know. So to give you a bit of a sense of uh, the valuable and important editing skills that you're going to learn in this class, I recorded the uh, following video, uh, which presents three of the 50 tips, and they're the ones that I use uh, on a regular basis, uh, almost as part of my uh, workflow. So let's go with the first tip here. Uh, I've imported this picture into Photoshop CC and it will work with Elements as well. It will work with prior editions of Photoshop and Elements as well. And it's always a good practice to uh, make a copy of uh, your picture. You never want to work on the original. You want to work on a copy to preserve the integrity of the original. And to do that, you uh, simply press Control or Option J. And if you look on the right hand side of the screen uh, on the adjustments panels, you will see the background layer, which is the original, and the layer right above is the copy that we just made. If you don't see the adjustments panel, you simply go to Window and make sure that you click on Adjustments, and you will see the panel over here. All right, well, this trick is very simple. You want to uh, boost the contrast and boost uh, the color. So all we have to do is go to Filter, other and we select the high pass filter and the operating window will surface uh, and then you select a radius uh, usually somewhere around 10 pixels 15 pixels I usually start around 10 pixels you click OK and then of course you have to change the way that these two layers interact with one another so you can see layer 1 over here right above uh, the original picture and you want to tell the computer how should the uh, pixels on this layer interact with the pixels below. And over here where it says normal, I'm going to select overlay, which is one of the many uh, blending modes that is available to you. And look at the picture. Quite a, uh, an improvement in uh, tone and contrast and uh, vibrancy. You see the little eye icon over here? If you uh, click on it, it turns off the effect of the layer. And you turn it back on, you click on the eye, and you can see a, a huge difference here between the before and the after. Of course, in the actual class, we spend uh, a lot more time explaining uh, layers and uh, uh, blending modes uh, and so forth. But this is a very easy uh, two mouse clicks and you've accomplished a major, major improvement uh, in your photo. Why don't we do another example here? Make sure you got that one under your belt. Uh, let's pick uh, this one over here. This is the pier in uh, Follies Beach, just south of uh, uh, South Carolina, uh, Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I make a copy of the picture by using Option J or Control J on the PC. And if you look on the right hand side, you can see a new layer. A layer is simply a, a transparency that you put on top of a picture. <laughs> that, that's the analogy that I like to use. And whatever you do on the transparency doesn't affect anything that's below. It uh, preserves the integrity of the original picture. And then you can modify the layer uh, in different ways. So let's go to, again, Filter, Other, and we're going to select the High Pass Filter. Uh, let's stick with 10 pixels, and we press OK. And now we have to change the blending mode to Overlay. If you find that the uh, effect is a little bit uh, exaggerated or over the top, you can tone down the volume by simply looking at the Opacity slider over here and bringing it down to maybe 50% or down to zero. The, the uh, filter has no impact all the way to 100 for full impact. And it's not a bad idea to try different modes. I usually try overlay and uh, multiply. Multiply is way, way too dark, so let's stick with uh, overlay. So click on the eye icon. Here's the before and here's the after, and, and clearly uh, an improvement in the picture. All right, let's go to uh, tip uh, number two to illustrate. And we're going to go to a picture 
of the uh, beautiful Oregon coast. How do you delete or modify uh, unwanted objects, uh, distractions, aberrations in a photo? If you zoom on this particular photo, and uh, to zoom I use the scroll wheel of the mouse, you can see uh, the couple that's marching here. And let's say I wanted to uh, eliminate the couple. Well, there's several ways to eliminate offending objects. And uh, one of the most popular one is you go to the, your toolbox over here and you right click on the uh, various tools and you select the spot healing brush. And make sure up here in the options uh, panel, you have selected content aware. And then you simply brush over the offending object. And the idea is to make the size of the brush a little, little bit bigger than the uh, offending object. And the way you control the size of the brush is with the brackets key. So the left-handed bracket key make it smaller, makes the brush smaller. The right-handed uh, bracket key makes it look larger. So something like this. And then you hold down the mouse click and you drag on the offending object and Photoshop normally does a pretty good job at eliminating the uh, offending object. So that's one way to eliminate using the spot healing brush. Another one that I like to use a lot is the patch tool and you can see over here in the foreground there's a rock that you may find offensive so let's say we want to eliminate it. So we go to the uh, the brush tools here we select the patch tool all right and then with the lasso tool which will come up automatically you select the offending object and you don't have to be very precise here like this and once the object is selected you drag towards the left or right or the top of the bottom in a section that will eliminate the offending object and duplicate the uh, selected pixels and replace the offending object like this. Wow, uh, pretty good. Uh, we've eliminated uh, the object perfectly. To deselect to get rid of the marching ants, we can use uh, uh, Option D or Control D on a PC. And voila, this is how you remove uh, objects. Very, very simple to do. There are other ways of doing it, but the, those two are the uh, principal ones. All right, let's go to the uh, third uh, tip. And this one is uh, specific to uh, Photoshop. It is not available in uh, Photoshop Elements. This one is really, really neat. And this is one I use all the time. So how do you boost the overall color of a picture? All right. And the way you do this is you make a copy of a new layer and down here on the lower right there's some various icons here one of them is uh, the second one on the from the uh, right here there's an icon entitled create a new layer so you click on it all right and then you go to image and you go to apply image and make sure that you have selected merge there under the uh, layer you click OK and then you change the blending mode again to overlay and that's probably a little bit exaggerated a little too much so try overlay light which is basically soft light and that's a little bit better here's the before and here's the after quite an improvement in the, the color the vibrancy of the picture so this is a very very simple uh, tip and trick it will really enhance the colors uh, of your picture with just basically two uh, mouse uh, mouse clicks so those are the three uh, tips that are pretty typical of the kinds of tips you will see in the other 47 tips I have to offer and uh, I urge you encourage you invite you to uh, enroll in this class and I guarantee you will uh, become a much better editor and you'll enjoy your photography a lot more. So see you uh, in class and uh,
If you have any questions, you can email me at Roger Morin, and my email address is prof, as in professor, prof Morin, which is my last name, M-O-R-I-N, at mac.com. So email me at prof Morin at mac.com for any questions that you may have. See you in class.